Why in the world would you ever write Arduino code that looks like this instead of this? Both of these programs do the exact same thing. They blink the onboard LED connected to Arduino pin 13. This is a classic introductory activity and sort of the hello world of working with an Arduino. The code on the left has familiar and human-readable Arduino commands like pin mode and digital write. Over here on the right, we've replaced those friendly commands with a bunch of scary acronyms and ones and zeros using something called registers. Now, you probably wonder why you would ever bother doing that if these programs do the same thing, but let's take a look at what happens when we compile and upload them to the Arduino board. So first I'm going to do this one, I'm going to hit the upload button. As usual, we'll get the little notification that it's compiling the sketch. And then we will see that this program takes up 924 bytes of space. Now let's try this one. Again, I'm going to hit upload, resize my window in advance this time. And wow, only 178 bytes. We have reduced the size of the program by about a factor of five. Now what's going on here is that registers are specific locations in a microcontroller's memory. Some of them have special functions that are tied to the microcontroller hardware. For example, setting certain pins as inputs and outputs or setting those pins high or low. Arduino commands like pin mode and digital write are actually writing to these registers for you behind the scenes. That's convenient and very easy to program, but as you can see, they involve a bit more overhead that makes the resulting program larger. You can make your program much smaller by writing to the registers directly using code that looks like this. Now, we'll see that not only do registers make your code smaller, they also make it faster. Here I have a single program that goes through two loops a thousand times each. One of them is using the digital write command to turn the LED on and off. I don't actually have a delay command in here, so this will be too fast for us to see, but we don't care. We just want to measure how long it takes this loop to run using the micro s command, which gets the elapsed time in microseconds since the board was last reset. We're going to do that using the digital write command, and then we are going to use, do it using the port register, and then finally, we will open the serial connection and print out the elapsed times. So let's try that. I am going to open the serial monitor, drag that over here from my second monitor. Now we are going to upload this code and let's see what happens. So the elapsed time for my code with the Arduino libraries was 7,548 microseconds. The elapsed time for the loop with the registers was only 1,320 seconds. Again, that is an improvement by over a factor of five. So we know that this code is roughly five times faster and takes up five times less space. When would you want to bother doing this? Clearly, if all you're doing is blinking an LED, it doesn't really matter. The convenience offered by the Arduino libraries is well worth it, and in this case, we are nowhere near running out of memory, and we have these long delay commands in here anyway, so we are not really worried about speed. So for many beginner Arduino projects, this approach is going to be fine. The whole point of Arduino is that it's supposed to make getting into electronics and programming easy for beginners. However, if you are getting into a project where optimizing your code to make it as small and as fast and as efficient as possible matters, then you should probably look into programming with registers especially if you are designing a device for mass production and you potentially want to be able to move down to a smaller, less powerful, and therefore cheaper microcontroller, you want to optimize your code. Now, this is also true if you're doing something that needs to work very fast. If differences of microseconds matter, then you would want to make sure you're using registers and not these slower Arduino libraries. But again, if you're doing something like blinking an LED once a second, then you don't care about the difference of a few hundreds or even thousands of microseconds. So that tells you why you would do this. It does not tell you how you would do this. To learn that, there are two places I'm going to recommend. One is my playlist of Tinkercad circuits tutorials on my YouTube channel. So these show you how to program with registers in Tinkercad, which is an Arduino simulator that runs in your web browser. However, all of the code in these tutorials will still work on a physical Arduino. This will cover everything from input and output registers to interrupts and timers. Next, there is a great video series by Sean Heimel from his time at SparkFun that goes into more detail about what exactly is going on under the hood with the microcontroller architecture, how the registers are stored in memory, and what's going on with some of the relevant source code. You can find links to all of those videos in the description below this one and somewhere here on the end screen. 
As always, if you have a question or a request for another tutorial, I cannot promise I will get to everything, but if you go ahead and leave a comment below this video, I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you.